Hello there, beautiful family. This is Gemma coming to you from this beautiful old forest here in the Netherlands. I arrived here just a few days ago from Mama Bali on my way to Peru. And uh, actually I was just having a very grounding and nourishing walk in the forest. And I had the impetus just to stop and lean into this beautiful old tree and um, tune in with you a little bit about uh, some of the things that are happening at the moment and some uh, ways in which nature can really help us to deal with the fastness of the energies that are moving. Uh, you may be noticing that there is a lot of mental energy that comes in during uh, this continued process of awakening that we're all moving through. That can look like overthinking, over analyzing, feeling like you can't switch your mind off even more than usual, might be disturbing your sleep. This is all really super normal. The energy intensifies so that it can get to a place where it kind of has a bit of a pop. When we take our attention and awareness into something, uh, this is also how we work uh, through sensation in the physical body to uh, facilitate our healing and do our shadow work as well. When we lean right into something, the sensation gets super intense and, and the key really is just to welcome it because the more we try and fight it, the harder it gets and the more persistent it becomes and the more overwhelmed we feel. So welcoming that and leaning right into it and then doing something to break the circuit is super, super helpful. So for me this morning, woo, I had a lot of mental energy coming in, thinking about this, that. I mean, I am preparing to go to Peru, but there's a lot of questioning and very necessary questioning. I'm just trying to hold this camera that's happening right now about um, also our habits, our habits, our beliefs, the way that we do things, the way we've always done things. Are they really serving us? You know, this, this is really a constant process of refinement. And we go through these periods where it intensifies and becomes, you know, right at the forefront of everything that's going on for us. And it can be really uncomfortable when that happens. So the mental energy is one of those things. And even though it might be the last thing that you feel like doing is to move your body, that's kind of the remedy of what we need to do because we wanna bring the energy down from the head and into the body, into the heart. And the best way of doing that is through being in nature. And I know it might sound like a very obvious thing or a cliche, but getting outside and putting your feet on the earth without your shoes if possible, or going for a walk in the forest, a walk in the park, or if you can't do those things, closing your eyes and visualizing yourself in nature is just as effective. And bringing some stillness back into the moment, away from the noise, away from the chatter of the mind, and reconnect yourself to your inner being, reconnect yourself to the beauty of this earth and back to the simplicity uh, is, is the most powerful medicine, is really coming back to the simplicity because we overcomplicate things so much. Like it's crazy how many extra layers we put on ourselves, right? We, we move further and further away from our true essence. So coming back to our center, coming back to our essence, coming back to nature is really the remedy uh, for moving through these um, very <laughs> intense mental energies that are fueled and triggered by also an enormous amount of photonic light rushing in. So it's burning it out. It's burning all of this stuff that no longer serves us out. Uh, it's coming up in many ways, of course, emotionally, physically, and mentally is one of them. So if that's you, I hope this helps. Um, you can check out uh, one of my meditations about returning to your center, a very beautiful and brief guided process to help you with that and I'll pop a link for that below. Okay, lots of love, have a beautiful day, sending love from the ancient forests of Amsterdam. Bye for now.